Frozen Throne bonus credits. Storm, Earth, and Fire. Heed my call. I'm just gonna let the credits play. I'll give you my final thoughts at the end. And also, don't worry, we will do the founding of Dordar or whatever the fuck orc bonus campaign uh, coming up next. Uh, uh, so, I haven't forgotten about that, don't worry. Did they really just loop the song? And it's just the same credit sequence. 
And with this, the camera spinning around. And, like, the camera isn't even showing the action anymore. I mean, I, I don't like talking over dialogue. Okay, I, I hope you like this um, great view of the snow here. Uh, quality tested by me. 10 out of 10. Uh, throw all right away from battle. Uh, wait, here we go again. Yeah, that's just on loop now. Alright. I'll see if anything else happens in the credits. I'm, I'm just gonna skip to whatever, because it's just looping now. Oh, it looks like we're at the end, but it was like looping the same thing over and over again, so we didn't miss much. So, the, the credits were much worse than the Random Castles credits. Those were, those were kick-ass. I was hoping something would actually happen. If it, if it repeats the song again, I swear. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Because, like, look at this. It looks like it's the end of the credits right now. It's like, it's talking about... Free type library, guys. Oh man, I, I just I don't want to talk over this song. It's it, it, the song uh, annoys me, so, sort of. All right, I think we're finally done. Because they just kept looping it. They didn't make a proper. Okay, that's it. That's there's no more credits. All right. Uh, what did I think of the game? All right. Well, I mean, I I, I could leave it until the end of the bonus campaign, but we're, fuck it, we'll wait. Um, no, sorry, we'll do it now, because I, I have it fresh in my head now, all the stuff. So, um, this is what I thought of Frozen Throne. It was good. I don't know if it was as good as Reign of Chaos. It, it was still sort of good. Um, I think I liked Reign of Chaos slightly better. Uh, I'm not sure. So, I'll go through like my problems and some of the other stuff that I have. So the last mission of uh, Scourge Campaign was not that difficult actually. Um, I thought it would be harder, but c given how hard the first mission of the Scourge Campaign was, yeah, I thought it would be harder than that. Uh, it really wasn't. Um, so that was that. I just kind of was able to do it um, first time, so whatever. That, that says a lot. Opposed to the first Scourge mission where I had to repeat it several times. So, I, I, I find it funny because people were warning me. They were like, oh, the last Scourge campaign. Someone actually said, like, someone had this strategy. They said, I should surround Illidan with a bunch of um, shades. And then he can't move. He can't pathfind him anymore. So he can't go anywhere. So that's that's one thing that you can apparently do. So then he'll never attack the... That's one way of choosing it. He'll never uh, uh, capture any more of them. He'll just be stuck. Because uh, uh, they didn't have any detection that level. I was able to move my shades around. I kind of knew I could do that, but I wasn't going to because the, the motherfucker suggested it. So I, I only do things that I sort of most of the time discover myself. I, I like I like finding cheeses myself, but yeah. You ruined it. Nah, I probably wouldn't have fucking done that anyways. Uh, so that is a cheese you could do, but I, I did not need it. I did not need to do that. It was easy, so it's just that's how it goes. Um... There's that. I wonder, do I get a... Is there another cred sequence somewhere here? I'm, I'm, I'm just curious. Maybe they, they, maybe they made another one. There we go. Let's see what this one is. The Frozen Throne credits. So this is the exposed to the extended one. Ah, there you go. Current player has completed the single player campaign on hard difficulty. That sounds about right. So, there, that's it with that. Gonna turn the sound slightly. Um, so yeah, last mission was kind of disappointing. It wasn't like Reign of Chaos hard. Uh, opposed to Rain, like the the undead first mission was basically the hard one, and Reign of Chaos is more of the defense hard, and uh, the Frozen Throne first Scourge mission was more of offense hard. So I'm I'm just gonna take those as the two hardest missions as a takeaway from this entire series. Uh, so yeah. I was a little bit, little bit disappointed that that finale, also the that ending. So he he just puts on the 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 helmet, and I assume he becomes the Lich King now, and that's it. Like, that's the conclusion. The bad guy won, guys. That's it. I mean, yeah, it's whatever. He's not a bad guy. No, he's a bad guy. Um... Kind of like I like the good guy doesn't have to win in this case, but like, it, there's just nothing else. It's like you know, Illidan just fucking falls, dies, and then 
you know, you don't hear about what happened to anyone else, you know. Well, I guess that's coming up next in my World of Warcraft LP. Heard it or no? I'm fucking not touching that. Um, that guy got wrecked. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. So, okay, so issues with campaigns. So, uh, so from favorite to least favorite, um, I, I think I actually really liked the Night Elf campaign. It was actually really good, I'd have to say. Looking back on it now, I actually enjoyed that one the most. Uh, that one was actually, it had the most, like, kind of like, um, I would say variety of missions in a way. Um, it also had the Naga, which was interesting. Uh, that was also, that was pretty neat. Um, the, the worst campaign, in my opinion, was the Blood Elf one. Because you didn't have siege units. Um, most of the time you were kind of just, I, I, I hated all the units. I hated Spellbreakers. Nothing clicked with me until I got those flying mantis motherfuckers. Flying rays or stingrays or whatever the fuck. Um, those were pretty good, but like the units didn't make sense to me, I would say. Because uh, like uh, the blood elves are essentially their own race and they're in their in their own right. Um, and I just I felt that was the the weakest of the campaigns. Um, and then the scourge campaign was pretty good. I liked the the story between. That, that kept swapping between Arthas basically losing his powers and, uh, what, what's her name? The fucking Sniper Waifu, yeah. And and her basically domination of, I guess, Lordaeron and stuff like that. Um, that was, that was, that in my, my opinion was kind of cool. Uh, she was, she was actually a pretty interesting hero. And I, and, and I like the, that was actually a really good plot, just like swapping between the two all the time. That was that was really neat. Uh, so as I said, strongest night elf, scourge is a close second. I'd say uh, you might disagree. I, I mean, I think they're interchangeable. Honestly, they're both really good. And then the weakest by far is blood elf, the blood elf. The blood elf one almost made me not want to play the campaign anymore because this it was just kind of shitty. I would say I, it's just my opinion, man. Um, because I, I was having trouble understanding uh, some of the, the stuff around it. I was getting frustrated. Um, uh, frustrated in a bad way. Like, okay, you, I, I have to actually explain this um, for people. So I was making fun of somebody because they were um, posting 30-minute videos of how to beat missions. Uh, kind of thing. Well, sorry. Like, I think... So I was, uh, we were like in the comments and, and, uh, and someone was going like, cause I, I said just randomly during the campaign, during, I think the second mission I was, cause I was just frustrated. And I said like, I, I hate the infantry units for blood elves. And like I said, I, I'm like, they're fucking useless. And so I didn't, I didn't really use them at all. So I used something else. And it most that mostly stemmed from my frustration because I, I think I had attempted that mission a couple times before and I was, I was kind of stuck on it. Trying to find a good unit composition. Like, the mission wasn't hard. It was just, like, understanding when to attack stuff and whatever kind of stuff. Like, oh, cool, pandas. Um, so, I, I, I said that. And then the guy... Uh, I, I don't know who it is, but I, I apologize in advance for if I'm ripping on you too much. But uh, he, he kind of... He, he, he's obviously a big fan of the game. And he understands it very thoroughly. And uh, he goes and posts, like, links to basically an unlisted video of uh, like 30 minutes of him just or 60 minutes or something I don't know how long it was so just that one statement for me made him go and, and record a video of him beating the entire mission and just like you know kind of just doing it I was kind of like I mean it, you have to understand like it's it's my first time running through it I'm obviously not going to know what I'm talking about and and I, I don't know why he took it to heart but I like he was I, I obviously a bit of an enthusiast on the game so uh, and as I said, I, get, I think I gave him a bit of a hard time. I don't know if he's even here anymore. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if he watched the end because because I, I was talking shit. Oh, I wasn't really talking shit. I was just like fucking. I, I had enough because I, I I honestly I was not enjoying the the Blood Elf campaign at all. And that's actually when I took the most like hiatuses. I said I was going to finish this in 2017, and now it's 2018. Uh, it's like January right now. So, um, yeah, that's kind of the meme around that. Um, so, and I'll explain more about that kind of stuff later. Oh shit, Hydralisks. Uh, I'll explain more about that in a little bit. Um, like, what what my trouble with this game was. And why I had trouble grasping. Because I know what it is, that what I had trouble grasping. Um, but, 
yeah, so... Why is it telling me we're under attack? Because we're not. Um, so... Yeah, you know, I'll just go through it now. So, I, I've made a comparison to Dota a lot of the time. Because um, I was... That's... Dota's kind of what I know a little bit. Because um, they play... I actually play a lot of Dota 2 these days. Um, I, I mean, like, pretty much every other day I play a game or two. Uh, I'm not, like, a great player at it, but... Uh, I had Pat introduce me to the game, and uh, and I I come from there. I come from that angle because um, I understand Dota's mechanics, and it took me a while to understand it. And it was, and I and I understand why Dota's mechanics work the way they do. It's because it's based on the engine of this game, and so the things. The things I don't like about this particular game are mostly personal. Um, so I, reali I, I realized how much more of a... Like, I, I do like micro. Don't get me wrong. I do like micro. Um, I do I do micro all the time. Uh, well, most of the time. But, like, you see, like, if you're a long viewer of my channel, you know that I play, like, StarCraft and a bunch of other RTS games. And you know I've done... All of them, and and, and I'm I'm, I'm uh, listen. I'm not, I, I, you're, I'm not Idra. Like I'm not a fucking professional player. But on the other hand, I I can probably do micro like at least better than the average person. Maybe um, I don't know. I I didn't really play that much competitive melee or anything like that. But I I kind of understand it. I, I'm just listen. I'll go by like what I know in Dota, and I'm like, I guess I'm slightly better than the average person. Maybe I'm just average. So, somewhere around that 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 area okay uh and so for this game this game was extremely micro intensive uh warcraft 3 in general is and i i wasn't i wasn't necessarily a big fan of that actually i actually like macroing a lot as well and there's a little bit of macro in the game it's mostly just building units replacing your stuff which i i couldn't really i i don't know for some reason i was just uh weirdly having trouble wrapping my head around it but that was the first issue with that. Um, the second thing is, I have a major problem seeing buffs and reasons why I'm losing, kind of thing. Because the the way that they did the art style for this game, for some reason, I cannot see it. Uh, it I, I am quite literally blind to it. And, and like, I'm like, kind of like, I realize after, you know, about a minute of Illidan, like, mana burning my heroes, oh, he's mana burning my heroes. Oh, he's still there. He's not dead. Just like for some reason, for me, like a lot of the stuff just blends in. I don't see it properly at all. So it makes it difficult to react to things, like you know, to see danger coming along. That's that's the best way I can tell. I can say it. And I, I think that's a lot of the problem I had with Dota One as well. Because uh, when I when I first started playing Dota One, first of all, that that shit had absolutely no tutorial to it whatsoever. I'm like, I, I remember like one of the first games I got in, I think someone flamed me for like not having boots of speed. I'm like, what the fuck? Why do I need boots of speed? Why would I want to go faster? You know, shit like that. Like I know now, like like I play Dota 2, I'm like, shit, you got to get brown boots as fast as possible. But like, you know, when I was trying that game, it was like, uh, I, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I'll just play the credits again, I don't care. It's something we'll look at while we, uh, while we do this stuff, while we talk. Um, so... That's the best thing I can. I, that's the best way I can describe it for you. Is that's that's what I have issues with. I cannot see buffs and debuffs and spell usage all the time. It's it's just the the way the art style is. It's hard for me to see. Um, it's not a bad art style. It's just for me, I'm just blind to it. I, I I'm not. It's just I, I don't know. I can't tell what's going on. And I cannot. I also can't quite wrap my head around the counter, the like unit counters and the. Um, uh, what the strengths of different units in this game? Uh, they, they they are also not very obvious to me. Like I don't know what sorceresses still are for. I don't really know how strong priests are because I look at the priests and I'm like, well, they heal for so little. I don't know why I want to use them. I, I'm just using them as examples because I saw them walk past. It's lovely. Um, so like I, it it was these things aren't immediately obvious to me. Um, like I, and I'm I, I like to think I'm a pretty good strategist. Like. Because like I played Warcraft two all the way through, and then I did like this thing in the Warcraft two expansion where I did like Archer catapult, and it was like kind of a meme, but it was it was it was like the best strategy I came up with because the way um, the way that campaign worked was um, the AI was perfect at microing, 
So what they would do is they they would attack with their their infantry units, and then they would pull back into their towers. Your units are stupid and dumb. You can only suck nine at a time. Your units would then run into the said towers and then basically die off. And so I realized by making Archer Catapult, you're staying at range, and then you can just kind of move in slowly, and you don't take as many losses. And you basically just one-shot the shit out of their infantry units. Uh, so that's that's why I kind of did that the way I did, because catapults were much stronger in that game. Speaking of catapults, um, in this game, uh, they have the same issue of the AI prioritizes catapults and siege units way too fucking much. To the point where you actually noticed at the end I wasn't even making them anymore, because I, I had played the mission before that, or no, so the one before, uh, the sixth, chapter six. I played chapter six, I had catapults as a core part of my army, and every time I had them, I ba they basically would like, I would make like three or four sometimes. And and dude, that's like that's like 16 food. Um, and I would have them and then they would just die. Um, because they would get focused down. And it, this, by the way, this goes again once once again that I had trouble seeing things because things are, I'm not, I'm not like, I don't have like poor vision. I just, uh, for some reason my, it doesn't click with my, in my head that like, like, but I don't see the units right beside certain things and stuff like that. I have watched, like, some Dota 1 games, and I, I, I honestly, some of the time, I can't tell what the fuck's going on. Um, <laughs> like, it just, it, it, it's not, um, I think, I think that's the, one of the biggest difficulties this game has with the way it did the 3D art style, was that it just, like, I, and I know, I, I know some people are gonna think I'm crazy. They're gonna be like, it's so clear as day to me what's going on, they're gonna say. And I'm just, and I'm going to tell him, like, you probably just played the game much more than I have. That's, that's what it comes down to. Um, and I just don't have that experience with the game. But, like, you know, when you see some other more modern games that I haven't played, uh, like, I haven't played League of Legends before, really. Well, I played it once, but I, and I didn't like it. But I have seen people playing the game, and I can, I can understand it. Uh, it's more, things are more like visible to me like i can tell most of the maybe, maybe not the buffs debuffs i don't know about that but i can tell the spells i can tell the heroes between the units and i can tell what's going on kind of thing the more important stuff that's going on the, I just this game i can't do it I, anyways i don't even know what i was ranting on before but anyways uh so that's 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 where we lie that's that's the problem that, that i have with this game i just can't tell what the fuck's going on half the time um doesn't make it bad it just makes me bad um, fundamentally, uh, so I, I'm just I'm just trying to make you guys understand where I'm coming from and what what my difficulty with this campaign was. Um, all right, so back back on the subject of the campaign, my least favorite missions when were when you were split between two bases. They were literally the worst missions because there wasn't um, like f like I like challenges to games, and that's more like um, a tedious challenge. It's very tedious to do those because you're like you're managing two bases. And I felt like that the one of the main gimmicks of this campaign for Frozen Throne was to split your attention between as many things as possible. Uh, so you have like, oh, okay, so you have the human base, you have to manage resources and towers for it, and its own resources and own food limit and stuff like that. Then you have the undead base, that so you have to do that as well. Okay, you gotta attack with them. Oh no, you gotta attack with the other guy, you gotta make a proper unit comp. So the best strategy I came up with in the end, at least for that chapter six undead mission uh once again i use that as an example was i just ignored the human base i didn't i i made towers i did the bare fucking minimum to keep them up and then i made a bunch of siege engines that's what i did the undead was my main base that's how i did it and that was the best way i had to do it ahead of doing that because i i just couldn't i couldn't wrap my head around m micromanaging two bases it was too much for me it was like holy shit so and it, and as I said, it was tedious. That was that was the that was the thing with that. Like it, it's not like I don't I don't basically longingly look look back on that mission. I'm like yep, that's when I had the most fun. No, no, no I, don't, I didn't have the most fun with that one, you know. And honestly, like I like I like missions where it's like you feel like you kind of um, I don't know overcame something, some kind of challenge rather than overcoming like you know, having to split your attention between multiple bases, because you get annoyed. That's what happens. You get annoyed, because you're like, oh, I'm, I'm dealing with, you know, I'm doing an attack with the undead. Oh, the human base is under attack. Now I'm looking over there. Oh, and, and now my now my all forces all got wiped out, because I wasn't looking over there, and oh, shit, purple's now attacking my main base, and 
You know, and then when like five different things happen at once, and I'm not even exaggerating, it's f so fucking annoying. It's just the worst, man. Um, but anyways, yeah. So, like I said, I, I don't, I don't look back on a lot of this with much like longingness, because it's just like, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of it wasn't the best. That guy is leveling the shit up. Okay, this 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 is completely different outcome from what we saw last time. With that being with that being said, it's still not a bad campaign. No, it's not a bad campaign by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, I still enjoyed it. I still had fun. I still found it very enjoyable. But yeah, the the AI just fucking prioritizes siege units way too much to the point where like they would actually like I remember a couple missions where I actually used it and I'm like. All right, they're coming after siege units. Let's kite the, the siege units around so they don't actually attack my actual main force. You know, kind of things like that. Um, just a just a dumb AI, basically. You know, um, and you just kind of like screw with it like that, which it's uh, it's not cool, man. And here's my if: the guilty will suffer, including hydralisks. So. Those are my complaints of the game, and that's basically it, so... I don't, I don't really have any other complaints for the campaign. Um, and I was mostly trying to, as I said, make you guys understand why I had difficulty kind of seeing things that may not be totally not obvious to you. By the way, just for the future, for the guy who posted the fucking 30 minute videos... Man, that, like... You, 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 I know you probably didn't intend it as such, but shit, that's like hostile as fuck to put in there. Like, it's been, you might as well just put a comment up saying, like, you're fucking bad at everything. Go fucking kill yourself. You know? Uh, like, that's, that's, I mean, it may, it, you may not have meant that, but that's the way it kind of came off to me, and it, and it made me kind of, like, not necessarily want to play the game much more. Because I, oh, I got self-conscious. I'm like, I'm like, am I doing so terrible? It's like, like, it's, like, dude, it's a mission I've never done before. And I'm like, am I doing so bad at this mission that, like, some guy's gonna post another fucking video again, and like you know, because I, I I don't I don't know where the difficulty curves are and stuff. It's my first time. Cut me slack, you know. It's like, uh, <laughs> uh, because that's 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 why I weren't. I was very clear at the beginning. This is a blind run, and I, that's why I was very clear because I was like, you know, it, that's not up everyone's alley, and because uh, because you, you, people make mistakes. That's what they do. They they don't do things correctly. Um, because they don't know what to expect, but it's like one of those things I figured that, you know, there's plenty of people who've played the game before that have runs on YouTube, so mine's just gonna be the special one that is a blind run. So, you know, and sometimes I do things in weird ways that normal people don't do it, so, you know, that's kind of how that goes, so. Like I said, it's it, just, like, next time, just calm down, man. Like, it's, it's just a game. It's just fun, you know. Uh, it's it's whatever. Anyways, yeah. So I got I got like kind of busy throughout the throughout the the last month or two. So that's why at random points I wasn't making parts for this, and I was. Um, also, I think I think honestly I'm having like a major fucking RTS burnout. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna say that probably doing Warcraft to Warcraft two expansion, Starcraft remastered, Warcraft three. And then Warcraft 3, Falls and Throne all back to back probably wasn't the best fucking idea I've ever had. Um, so it's probably gonna be another year before you see more RTS games from me, unless you consider Factorio like an RTS or something. And which is which is funny because I actually wanted to do more uh, RTS stuff. So, uh, anyways, yeah, we're 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 not done yet. We're gonna do the bonus campaign. I just uh, I figured we have the credits now. Um, we're gonna do the bonus campaign first off, and second off. Um, uh, I mean, I'm not done with, obviously done RTS forever. I'm sure, like, there'll be more Blizzard games. There's Outpost 2 I wanted to do at some point. Uh, there's more city-building focused games, like I was going to do Cleopatra, which is the expansion to Faro, because I've done the first game before that, um, which was very niche. Nobody watched it, but I don't care. I'm doing it anyways, because I play games for me, more or less, most of the time. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you, you were here, but... Uh, I mean, I, I, I did. I played this mostly for myself as well. So, because I, I, I've never played Frozen Throne. It was an enjoyable experience, uh, despite the slightly disappointing ending. Um, yeah. So we're gonna do Founding of Durotar, and I guess I, I have nothing else to say about this campaign. So, 
Oh, and customs. So someone, I, I think some people are going to ask and were asking before if I'm going to touch on any Warcraft 3 filters for customs. Um, I, I don't put that out of, out of the realm of possibility. Um, I, I want to also do the same thing with Starcraft Remastered, which is play some customs. And that's a game I actually know. But the thing, the thing I was really hoping for was to get someone who was very familiar with Warcraft Frozen Throne to actually accompany me on this little adventure and tell me stuff about, like, basically pick out the best customs and, and, to, and tell me their experience with them and stuff like that. I think that would be much more interesting than me just blindly walking into these not having any explanation. Um... Because I'm like I'm literally going to be terrible at them because it's the first time I'm playing all of them. But if I have someone with me that kind of knows a bit more and goes like, "Yeah, this is the best strategies." Because I remember I played like a, there's like some kind of like preschool wars map or something. You make like you make like a barracks and makes like toy soldiers coming out, and you have like the little Timmy guy walking around. That's one of the ones I did. I also played the Starship Troopers variant for this map, which was you had the the space orcs and they killed stuff. I I, I played a bunch of stuff. Uh, for the customs, but I didn't really get into them. So, me knowing someone that actually knows the customs to and goes through them with me would actually be very beneficial. Because uh, if I go through Starcraft Remastered customs, I know a lot of those, so I would have no problem talking about those. But for this game, I wouldn't really be able to say much. Oh, here's me playing Dota and getting stomped by people who, I mean, I, I understand Dota too, but. You know, it's like I said, I have trouble seeing stuff sometimes, so I don't know how entertaining it would be for me to go through it, but it would be entertaining if someone else went through it with me and, and did it, so I don't know. Maybe I'll find someone to do that with me or something. I'll, I'll, I'll see. Um, in that regard, yeah. Because I simply don't know the game, so um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, coming up next, founding of Orc campaign, whatever the fuck it is. So, thanks for tuning in. I uh, hope you liked it, and take care. Goodbye.